So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of data charts over here on this piece where a filter is applied. But over here on the second piece, you can see that there are some data, but no filter is applied right here. That is because uh, I have applied a current piece filter, meaning it only applies to one single piece. If you want all of the pieces to um, actually uh, uh, inherit the filter, then instead of uh, changing the uh, uh, current base filter, you need to go around and access the report settings and apply the filter there. So now what I'm going to do first is go around onto the piece right here and then go to current base settings. And from over here, I'm going to turn off the total filter right here. So you can see that the filter has been removed. And now in order to add in a universal filter, you can go around onto file right here and then go to report settings and you get a similar option that um, uh, to uh, the current base setting right here. And here you can see a report filter can be added out. So if I were to go around and add, you can see that you can select from a previously made filter right here. And once you do that, here you can see that the filter is applied immediately on this space right here. But if I were to go to uh, the uh, second page right here, you will be able to see that the filter is applied onto these reports as well. And uh, just like you would do for a current base right here, you can go around and turn off the inherent filter option over here as well. So it does not affect a particular data right here as well. And that is how you can access and utilize the filter inside of a report setting inside of Google Data Studio. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.